So I'm going to talk a little bit about the extra credit that is going to be offered for semester one. Um, just remember that in order for you to get extra credit, you need to have actually done the original credit, which means that all of your summatives have to be complete. So if you say, hey, I did extra credit, and then I go into the gradebook and I see that you are missing any summative assignments, you will not receive extra credit. You are allowed to do two of these, and they are worth five points each. So you can get five points on one summative and five points on another summative. You can't combine them, so you can't have 10 points on one summative. You have to have two different summatives. I will choose the summatives that are that they're being added to, so please don't worry about that. I'll make sure that it's mo the most mathematically uh, impactful. Um, so I'm going to explain to you essentially um, what this is, what this um, extra credit is going to be. Okay, so this is what I went over um, on in class on the 3rd of December, the extra credit. Um, so it's on a summative, they all must be complete. This is due by the 15th of December. Um, if it's incomplete or it's wrong or it's late, it's not going to be added to any summatives. You have to get it on time, it has to be correct. You have to make sure that all of your summatives are completed prior to turning in the extra credit, thus the meaning of extra credit means it's on top of the already credit. Um, so remember that this extra credit assignment is worth five points on a summative and you can do two of them. So it'll be five points on each summative. That means a max of total 10 points um, and no more than two extra credits can be submitted. And that, again, I will decide where that extra credit is going to be applied. So you don't need to worry about that. Okay, so what is it that I do? You're going to choose a movie or a TV show, and you are going to figure out a theme from American literature that that relates to. You're going to get four quotes, and you're going to explain the significance of those quotes and how they relate to that particular American theme or American idea that we've discussed in class. You have to have five minimum slides, so maybe like an intro slide and then four quote slides, um, or you can have, uh, um, you can always have more than five slides if you want. So here are some examples of the themes, and we discussed these in class. Um, the most easy, the easiest one is probably the idea of the American dream. So an example that I've gotten from a student in the past was someone did the movie Elf, and so because that's been done in the past, you're not allowed to do it. So they compared it to the American dream being attainable at all costs. And then here are some of the example slides, and you can pause these as they go through so that you can read the significance. But you'll notice that some of the quotes are shorter, but the significance is always pretty long. So the explanation needs to be as long, if not longer, than the actual quote itself. And again, they're relating the idea of Elf being the disillusionment of the American dream and how the American dream is attainable, but it's at like such a great cost that it's it's difficult to justify. So this particular one earned the extra five points. Um, and I'm going to end this particular movie with the theme so that you can just pause it and um, choose one of those themes. So that's it, guys. You are going to um, turn this into me by the 15th of December. And remember, it can be any uh, TV show or movie. Um, I prefer you not to do a book just because it's easy to find those things online and this needs to be something that's original and unique. So those are the parameters of the assignment. If you've got any questions, feel free to email me at kohanamj uh, at fultonschools.org. And I hope you guys have a really restful break and you take it easy and um, enjoy your holiday.